Hi guys, it's Ingrid here. We're going to be making some homemade ice cream today. So here are the things that you're going to need. First of all, you're going to need a gallon Ziploc bag that's about half full of ice. In that bag, you are going to put about six tablespoons of salt. Now this is rock salt. You don't have to have rock salt. You can use regular salt, but rock salt seems to work better just because it's got these bigger crystals and it mixes with the ice better and lowers the temperature, which is why you put ice and salt together when you're making ice cream. So you're gonna need six tablespoons of this. And then you're gonna put that to the side. And then, in a little quart Ziploc bag, you're going to need some cream and some milk. Now this is where you can kind of decide how you want to do this. You could put all cream. If you do that, you're gonna have richer ice cream, but you also run the risk of making butter instead of ice cream. And I don't know about you, but I would rather not have a great big spoonful of butter when I'm looking for dessert. So another thing you can do is use half and half, which is half cream, half milk. Or you can actually make your own half and half and use half whipping cream or heavy cream and half milk, which is what I'm going to do. So, half a cup of cream and half a cup of milk. Now, carefully put the whole thing in the bag and make sure the bag is sealed all the way closed. And then put this inside of that. And seal this carefully all the way closed. Then you shake. Now, you don't have to be wild and crazy about it. Just, you know, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. For about Seven so after about seven minutes, you're going to have something that looks like this. And if you open it up and take a spoon, You have ice cream. Now, this is not sweetened ice cream. If you like your ice cream sweet, you might want to put some sugar in it beforehand, or what I like to do is have something that has sugar that goes with it. Enjoy. <laughs> 